Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Are you excited about today? Your tone makes me a little afraid. It's like, are you ready for what? What am I ready for? Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Welcome to day four of the Keto Chow seven day reset for 2021. What happened to day three? Uh, it's a good question. What happened to day three? We lived it. Day three happened. We exercised. We just didn't video it. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. We just got so busy with stuff. We're planning to go away. Right. Starting this afternoon. Right. And we, but we will still do our live stream. If yeah. at all humanly possible. No, we're doing our live stream. So here's what happened is Tuesday morning. We got invited last minute to go mooch dock with some family members who were going on vacation and they're like, Hey, we've rented this place. Why don't you bring your RV and come hang out with us? And we're like, yes. We're like, yes, because we don't get many opportunities to hang out with family. But a week's worth of work had to be done in, what, three days. And we had two days notice. And we were already planning on going to the Tampa RV show next week. So we were already behind the eight ball. And now we got more behind the eight ball. But you know what I think is interesting? And I think that this applies to your health journey as well. If you want something bad enough, you will make it happen. That's right. So it's like, if I don't want it bad enough, I will not stick to my eating plan. If right. I don't want it bad enough, like if I don't want fitness bad enough, I won't exercise. Right. But when I want it bad enough, I am capable of making it happen. Yeah. Speaking of, and I know we have to get going because it is 5.30 a.m. We are pretty wide awake for 5.30 in the morning. I will say that. Thanks, Keto. But we are headed off for early morning prayer. Actually, I think I'm going to stay home and do early morning prayer at home because... You're live streaming it. Well, I'm starting to get a bit of an allergy attack and I it don't doesn't want look to great. offend people in church. Make with, them worried. With, you know, like watery eyes and a runny nose. Yeah. So... I do have a lot of work to do. I just don't want to offend people. So I think I'm going to stay home for early morning prayer today, watch a live stream and then pray and then get back to work before I head out to do more work. But speaking of fitness, it's really cool. I am starting a new program. It's going to be starting next week and we're going to be documenting it along the way with Bronson. Yeah. I'm going to leave a link for him down below and he's going to attempt to somehow possibly get me to look like just a quarter of his body. I think that that's a great start. <laughs> I think just having the discipline to do it and right. get back to it is great because it was something that you were pretty passionate about before keto. Yeah, had, I was enjoying CrossFit. Even though I wasn't good at it, I was enjoying it. Because you felt like you were doing something for yourself. Right. You were putting yourself first. Right. But then when we started doing keto... It became very evident very quickly that you could lose weight right. without exercising with keto. I mean, that's the that's the magic of keto and the appeal of keto. Right. But you don't want to never go back to like fitness. Right. Because there was an element of it that you were really enjoying. Right. And I think you're going to love this. Well, for me, it's not so much the enjoyment. I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it, but with not having all of last year's like you know, sports to officiate Yeah, kind of had my activity level go down and Bronson and I are going to work on stuff that you can do at home. What really motivated me to this though is Bronson's the same age as me. Well, I don't want you to compare yourself to somebody because I'm not that, comparing will, myself. that will always like upset you. But I think that you, when you see somebody who's super fit like him, Makes I think, me think it's possible. It, yeah, it's a goal. Right. It's a goal to at least start yeah. moving. Well, let's uh, get this day going. So we are going to vlog as much as we can today. I'm headed to work. 
Rachel's headed to early morning prayer. Rachel's got work to do. I've got more work to do. And then this afternoon we have to come home and pack up the camper and head on out to go do some mooch docking. Okay, it's 7.30 in the morning. I just woke Anthony up and while I'm waiting for him to get ready, I'm gonna make my first meal of the day. Now, I have decided to start incorporating some Perfect Keto collagen, as well as using raw eggs as the fat source for my keto chows, because I wanna make sure I'm getting enough protein in. But my first meal of the day is generally very high in protein, lower in fat. So here's how I make it. In my Vitamix, I'm gonna add one scoop of chocolate peanut butter, or actually just chocolate, because I'm out of chocolate peanut butter, but one scoop of any kind of keto chow is good. So I'm gonna use chocolate. I'm gonna do one scoop of the Perfect Keto Collagen. This is the salted caramel flavor, but generally, especially if you're using chocolate or chocolate peanut butter keto chow, uh, the peanut butter Perfect Keto Collagen tastes phenomenal in this. Then I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, just because I wanna thicken it up a little bit. And then I use eight ounces of almond milk. You can also use hemp milk or any of the other, like, you know, keto milk alternatives. Just make sure you're getting unsweetened and it should be zero to one carb for an eight ounce glass. Then I'm gonna fill my blender bottle the rest of the way with water and then put a few ice cubes in there, blend everything in the Vitamix and it becomes a nice thick shake, very high in protein, much lower in fat and it's a great way for me to start my day. Ooh, sorry for the lighting. It is weirdly sunny out at 9 a.m. I have been to morning prayer, which was awesome. And then I started setting up the rooms for this coming weekend services. We've got a brand new series on Coastal Kids dot online coming out Saturday at 6 p.m. It's a dojo series. It's all about like karate and we're learning about discipline is the first thing this week. That's totally going to help everybody with their health goals, right? Discipline. But I need some paper bags, like lunch bags, because for the preschool and the kindergarten classes, we use um, paper lunch bags for the kids to be able to take home their crafts and all their papers every single week, because otherwise, when you have like five or six different things, you know, you leave something behind, and the kids get really sad about that because they love the different crafts and things that they create. But I've had such a problem finding paper lunch bags suddenly. So I ordered them on Amazon. They're not gonna be here until a couple of weeks. And I just went to Walmart, nothing. I went to Publix, they were out. So I'm gonna try my Dollar Tree and see if I can at least get enough paper bags to get me through this week and maybe next week in those classes. So wish me luck. Yay, I was able to find the paper bags that I needed for church at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree for the win. I can't tell you how many times that I've found what I've needed at Dollar Tree. So really thankful for that store. Um, so now I am back home and I am inside of our camper Eleanor and I need to clean this puppy up before we head out. And I also need to put sheets on the bed. I need to replenish our towels and all of our clothes because we went on a five day camping trip recently and I had to do all of the laundry. So yeah, I have no underwear for the next two days unless I put it in right now. So here we go. So Eleanor is all clean and this is gonna make me sound like a total geek, but Anytime I've ever stayed at a hotel, I always sort of like cross my fingers no matter what price I'm paying for the room and just sort of like hope that it's going to be up to my cleanliness standards. This is pre-COVID. This has nothing to do with the COVID. Just going into a hotel room and you're thinking to yourself, please don't let there be hair in the drain or on the toilet seat or don't let this room smell not great. Ever since we got the trailer, I never even have to think about that because it's always arriving at our destination, smelling like I want it to smell, as clean as I want it to be, all fresh linens. I don't have to guess, did they change the linens out? Like it's changed because I did it. So I know that that sounds like super, I don't know, bougie, but um, I just love the fact that I am in control of my vacation as far as the hotel room 
goes. So it smells really good. It's super lemony because lemony is my favorite cleaning smell. What is your favorite cleaning smell? Are you pine saw smell? Do you just like the smell of bleach? Like what is, is there a fabuloso that you like? What is your favorite cleaning smell? Because mine is absolutely lemon. I love things that smell lemon fresh. Well, we're off like a herd of turtles. What does that mean? It means that we're going a little late today. Well, it's 2.50. We did say we weren't going to leave till three o'clock. So we're early? So we're Didn't kind of like early. Well, what happened was is I got home from work earlier. So we thought maybe we can get out earlier. But the problem was I still had a bunch of work to do here. We needed to film a video. I needed to edit a video. Then I had a problem with my hard drive. And I mysteriously got a notification that Federal Express has a package coming that has to be signed for. I don't know what it is. We never even got it. And so I was hoping it was going to come before we leave, but uh, yeah, no such luck. So now you got to hope that the kids hear the doorbell over their gaming headphones. Please learn. You got there. I've got the second best flavor of keto chow for lunch. Chocolate mint? Mm-mm. Pistachio. Oh. With four tablespoons of melted butter. Pretty freaking awesome. I cannot wait to get some fishing done. What a view. This is incredible. The sun is just setting and it looks pretty awesome. We should have gotten a picture of it. That was the ugliest fish ever. What kind of fish was it? It was a toadfish. And we found out that its backbone was poisonous, thankfully my brother picked it up with a rag. So if you are catching and releasing like we are doing, just make sure that you, whatever the fish is, you just pick it up with a wash rag and don't use your hand because a lot of times, especially, I think that we are around uh, where there's a, a coral reef, a man-made one that's been made here and you attract a lot of like tropical fish, but some of them protect themselves. And if you touch that spine with your hands, you are getting like a bee sting type of injury. This lighting is kind of weird. Back up a little bit that way. So I have a question for you. Yes. Did you do your exercises today? I did not. <laughs> I did not do my exercises. I stink. At but least you're honest. Does running around and getting all your work done count as exercise? I'm going to say yes. So I probably everybody down below is going to say no. Good morning. Well, it is Friday morning and I am here in the cottage that my brother and sister-in-law rented and I'm making waffles. So you kind of like just make things work. I'm over here in the corner with a bowl and a mini dash and we're making some of these keto birch benders waffles for the kids. So fun and so fast. I'm loving it. So here's my little cooler top camp kitchen and it's fine. As soon as I finish one, I can just start on the next one. I forgot syrup. And that's completely fine because we're just putting a little bit of butter on top and the kids are loving it. So my sister-in-law, Becky, got this Power XL uh, griddle for Christmas and she brought it with her and I'm so glad she did. They made hamburgers in it last night. She's made all the sausage for this morning and bacon. I think it was under a hundred bucks or right at a hundred bucks, but it keeps the splatter down. It was easy to transport and it was, it's super easy to clean up too, because like all the grease goes in this drawer underneath here. Boop, when you're done. 
So it looks like they actually refer to this thing as a smokeless grill. And I actually made a total breakfast waffle for the win. Um, I put the sausage and the bacon that she cooked in here, chopped it up with the last of the, the Birchbinders mix and add a little bit of cheese to the batter and voila, breakfast is served. I don't know if you can hear me with all of this wind, but I, this is such a beautiful view. I wanted to share it with you. We are here at the very end of the jetty at Jetty Park in Fort Pierce, Florida, right where I grew up, spent most of my summers here in Fort Pierce and it is just gorgeous. Shaking up my first meal in 186 hours. Wow. So seven and a half days. We're going with pistachio keto chow. I made that three days ago, so it should be nice and tasty. Tastes like good food. You look so cold. I am really cold. You're out here in your abominable snowman. That was a giant brother burp. So you're out here in your abdominal snowman pajamas. We're doing a little bit of fishing. And with I'm, the jacket on. And I'm drinking my second keto chow, but this is just keto chow with almond milk. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? Uh, Baby Yoda head with a creeper in Baby Yoda head and a creeper. So this is what a native Floridian looks like when it's 55 degrees. Yes. So can somebody explain to me this kid wearing shorts, like that is not a native Floridian. Like he should be in like a ski jacket right now. He is tougher than me though. This is like the coldest winter I think I've ever experienced in Florida. Like I don't ever remember having this many cold days, especially like it's the first week of January. But I like it. I like it cold. I like it too. It's just very weird. Different. I just wish we would have like constant cold, not like one day it's 50, one day it's 80, one day it's 40, one day it's 90. It would probably be good for your allergies. It I hear a train. I do. We are like so close. We're like close to the ocean, but close to like the train. So you hear that thing going by all night long, but it's still nice to just get away and hang out with the family. I caught What'd you a get? fish. I caught a I really. Think, uh, Joe needs Let me to see. This one off. Pull it up. It's pretty ugly. And I've also managed to hook my brother, so. You caught a fish. I caught a brother too. Are you gonna awesome. eat this fish? No way. I can do sushi right now. Ew. <laughs> He's kind of grody. Oh! <laughs> oh! Reel him in, me. reel him in. Come on, Elijah, right. you got it. I got Look at that! Oh, what kind? <laughs> it's what a catfish, kind? catfish. Good job, Elijah! Catfish. Elijah! You look like it's like five degrees outside. It feels like it's five degrees outside. It's 62. I don't do well with cold. I mean, I just need to bundle up and put on extra layers. I think I have about four outfits on right now. People think we're a wuss. We are. Are you ready? I am. I am weirdly sweeping for the third time this morning. And I think that I'm actually not even sleep sweeping after this trip. I think that I'm sweeping after the trip we took with the boys. Like there was so much sand at Wikiwa Springs that like we're still seeing it. It's still here. Okay, well, let's uh, pull in the slide and get out of here. That's a popka. This is my favorite part because it means all of my chores have been completed. This is my saddest part. My favorite part is when we open the slide. Because we're going somewhere instead right. of going home. Now it means we're going home. So yeah, I don't like this part.
I actually don't want to leave. Like I made the mistake of like coming and sitting down at the water's edge for like just a couple more minutes. And now I'm like, oh yeah, I just want to stay here all day now. I know, but beautiful. we have to get home. We have to film Keto on the Couch. And uh, we have to start meal prepping for Keto Chows for next week. I'm excited. Um, of course, before we do all of that, we have to stop at Tractor Supply and get some bedding and food from the chickadees, for yeah. the chickadees. So that is gonna be the end of this. What was supposed to be one day turned out to be multi-day vlog. Yeah. But we ended up having a great time. Now, make sure you are subscribed to our channel because we have a lot of cool content coming up, including next week, we're gonna be at the Tampa RV Show. So if you're in the area- Come visit. Come check us out. Let's play Uno together. So now, if you like seeing videos like this, there is an entire playlist right down here. Also, make sure you check out our most recent video, which you can find right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we go on an adventure, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.